Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, we're back in home territory, um, mostly. Um, eventually I'll redecorate. Deal with it, okay? It's my kitchen, it's small, it's cozy. Porquito budget for favor. Yes, if you want to, uh, you know, send us money. <laughs> yes, donations. Or, or from? a carpenter. Yes. So, what are we going to do this week? Uh, last video, we made kebabs mm. with a beautiful naan. Mm. And a lot of people have been asking about that. Yes. It is an Indian bread, first introduced to me at a restaurant here in Charleston. Unfortunately, it is no more. It was called Little India, owned by Aww. one of our great friends, Mina. We love you, Mina. We still have some footage for you guys coming up as a surprise from our trip to Mina's store before she moved. Well, she retired, went to be with her children. We miss you, Mina. We love you, Harish. Hi, Harish. Uh, so this, this is really inspired by her friends, family, get together. Once you see it, I think you'll really enjoy it. When we come back on In the Kitchen with me. Yeah. And old Roy. Oh, Roy, it's an adult food. We'll be right back. <laughs> Gosh, call me dog food, will you? Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome so back. today, welcome back, welcome back, welcome. Okay, that's enough, Dad. Yes. I don't have any money to pay for royalties. Um, we're doing Nan. Very quick, simple recipe. In my uh, stand mixer bowl, and you can do this by hand just as easily, trust me. I have three cups of all-purpose flour. To that, I am adding a teaspoon of salt. It just happens that it's pink salt. A quarter teaspoon of baking powder. I'm sorry, that was baking soda. The baking powder is coming now. Make sure your baking powder is fresh. If you don't use a whole lot of it, um, replace it about once a year. Just saying. One teaspoon. Now, this is a weird, I don't want to say weird. It's an odd bre bread for us where instead of using one leavener, this uses three. You've seen the baking powder, baking soda. That's one leavener. They work together. We are also going to be doing yeast, as well as kefir or yogurt. I like kefir in this. And yes, that's what I used last time. Roy doesn't like kefir. No, it's kind of not for me. So we have two thirds of a cup of water. We're going to do the same. Two, uh, two third cups of kefir or yogurt. Your choice, please don't use a flavored yogurt. No, that'd be kind of funky. Yogurt or strawberry bread, nothing good about that. Now, I did warm this up with hot water and cooled it down just a bit with the uh, kefir because it, it's not quite to room temperature. I got my measuring spoons wet, so I'm going to eyeball one eyeballer. tablespoon. He's a good eyeball. eyeball. That's pretty good. Get it damp. Wait five minutes. Now, Roy, do you know why I'm blooming it like this? Because uh, it's hungry. Very good. That's what I forgot to put in there. Okay. Thank you for saying that. And a tablespoon of sugar to give the yeast something to eat. Yeah, see, now you were just, you was uh, throwing them into the desert. Hey, we're still a little rusty at this. Okay. So, we're going to let this sit for five minutes. Let it get happy. There is also a second reason why you want to bloom your yeast. If you're going to go through all this trouble, use your ingredients, make sure your yeast is alive. Yeah. Uh, I keep mine in the freezer, container like this, throw it back in the freezer when I'm done. I've never really had a problem with that, and this yeast is probably a year -ish old. So, again, quick recap. Three cups of all-purpose flour. Um, tablespoon of salt. Don't use a coarse salt. It doesn't dissolve really well in this. Um, ha a teaspoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon baking soda, tablespoon of yeast, 
Yes. When we get back, we'll show you the other ingredients. Got to wait for this to wake up a little bit. Wait Mix it. it. Get it going. Since you're here, yeah. and there's going to be a quick little break. Yeah. Well, super quick for y'all. It's going to be about 10 minutes for us. And a quiz. How... I'm not asking. Well, yeah, probably going to be a quiz. You only say that to me. You know, you better watch this because there's going to be a quiz. Oh, yeah. That is one of the things That's I tell him. Throw that out there. So. He has a real bad habit of not watching things that I send him, like food ideas and things like that. And I said, you better watch it because there's going to be a quiz later. <sighs> mm. So anyway, with him confusing me and, and getting all, all of this, hit like and subscribe. Yes, please. And if you like what we're doing... Hit the little bell. Ding. We'll be right back. Eat your guts. Boo. Boo. Our yeast has bloomed. Bloom. Nice and bubbly. Bubbly. Pour it directly in. Well, and I didn't even need it. Start your mixer if you're using a stand mixer. If not, just use a wooden spoon and have at it. You want about... A tablespoon of olive oil. That's a tablespoon. I'm going to let it mix for about five to ten minutes. Uh, do 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 the kneading, mixing. Next, we are going to make the garlic butter. Well, actually, we're just going to get it started because I wasn't thinking and I didn't pre-chop my garlic. Oh, oh no. Sorry. That's my fault. You want about, that's about a half a stick of butter, but we're going to be making uh, 12 to 20, depending on how big these non get. And you can do any topping you want. Um, uh, topping... I don't want to say sauce, butter. Uh, you can use plain butter, garlic butter, which is the most common garlic butter man. You can even throw some sesame on it uh, with the butter. We're doing um, the garlic and cilantro. We'll be right back. Our dough is kneaded for about eight minutes. You will notice it is a um, moist, loose dough. I know there's another word for it and I can't think of it right now. Roy said it a minute ago. Um, I can't remember. Sticky. Get you some oil, ball it up. Don't worry about changing pans. Throw you a little bit more in the bottom. Vegetable oil, canola oil, don't waste your good olive oil. And now comes the part of waiting. waiting. About 35 to 40 minutes for it to ferment. If it's hot like it is here, I'm going to guess this is probably going to take about 20 minutes. A couple minutes. of questions. Roy had a question in the back about what happens if your dough is too, too, too moist because of said humidity. Add a tablespoon of flour at a time. Um, don't do more than that. Give it time to incorporate. Um, once your dough starts really pulling away from the bowl, if you're using, well, in e either method you're using, hand or mixer, then you know you, you've got the right consistency. On the other hand, if it's too dry, same thing. Add a tablespoon of water while it's mixing at a time. Get it going. If not, you're going to make, if you add too much water, you're going to make a seitan. You don't want to do that. Look it up. Um... S A E T A N, I believe is the I've one. thought about horns and things when you said that. <laughs> There's a huge TikTok video thing going around about it. Yeah. Um, how to make fake chicken with just flour. That's how you do it. Why? You screw up. I'll go watch it. Oh, my but land. While you're watching it, or before you go watch it, do us a favor. You know what? Hit like and subscribe. Yeah. And if you like what we're doing, I want to see us again. Get the little bell. Ding, ding. <laughs> when we come back, we'll show you how to get this um, together. We'll finish chopping up our herbs and garlic for the butter, which is now key.
really good, clarified better. We'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. Our dough is nice and fermented or doubled, risen. Just gonna toss it a couple of times, roll it into a ball. And here's the fun part. Pinch it off. <laughs> I would, <laughs> sorry. We're sorry. going to ignore that. Put a little bit of flour because your dough, this is a very um, soft dough. I just bought a rolling pin. Oh no. I don't like it. Why? So I'm, why? Because everything sticks to it as I'm saying this is sticking. Don't you have like season a rolling pin or something like that? If y'all know anything about that, put it down there. It's a wood rolling pin, which I shouldn't have bought. I want a um, one of the French ones that's just a, a solid piece of uh, steel, I believe. Wee -wee. Good cold steel. All right. Look at that. This is the fun part. You roll them out however you want them. I do have a preheated iron skillet. Just um, got some oil on a paper towel and just wiped it. That's all. Uh, don't ask me how hot it's smoking hot. It's been on the burner for about eight minutes. Now, sit and watch it for about a minute. We'll speed this one up so you guys can uh, not get so bored. Yeah. What should we talk about? Because it's going to play in fast forward and people are going to laugh. Oh, we oh, we oh, laugh. Bunny, 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 bunny. He's got a bit of his butt. He's pretty. Look, it's beginning to puff up. While it's puffing up, it's a good time to get your next one ready. You also would like a receiving vessel. Something to put it on. Yes. And don't worry about these being perfect. If you've had none at an uh, Indian restaurant before, you know they're not perfect. You can make these also bigger and use them as sandwich bread. I know I had a pair of tongs. As Scotty would say, the right tool for the right job. If anybody knows who Scotty is, tell me. I'll give you a quarter. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> now to show you a quickie, <clears throat> a quickie, this is my melted butter, and yes, I did use browned butter, clarified butter, lots and lots of garlic, right on top, a little bit of cilantro, and if you like, you can also add some uh, coarse salt. Just a little bit. When it's done, you'll know it. It'll release, nothing will stick. And just stack them up and keep them going. Man. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for stopping by. It was another quick video. Next one will be better, promise that. And the next one is by request, which will kind of go with this. Yeah, so you can have your nan and eat or do. Exactly. Uh, Jay, thank you for the idea. We will be doing that next. You guys have a great day. Thank you for coming by my kitchen and learn some of us, or learn learn something, I hope, and put up with us too. You guys have a great day. We'll see you next week.